Iranians are casting their votes in the country's presidential elections today with the current president, Hassan Rouhani, up against hardline opponent Ibrahim Raisi. The economy will play an important role in the outcome of the vote, which could also determine who replaces the current aging Supreme Leader Ayatollah Ali Khamenei. Well, Azadeh Davici is an Iranian academic currently living in Australia. She joins me now from Melbourne. Thank you so much for uh, being with us. Now, it is known that ultimate power in Iran rests with the supreme leader, Ayatollah Ali Khamenei. So how much influence does the president have in the country? Um, well, um, it depends on the uh, actually the politics that he wants to play. Uh, I can say that uh, in terms of juridically, he doesn't have much power and the power is with the supreme leader. But in, this, in terms of executive things, um, uh, such as uh, running uh, the laws for the parliament or uh, etc. He has the power and he can influence uh, on economy and uh, on uh, running the things much better. Uh, but uh, in terms of um, uh, politics, uh, the president does not have much power as much as the Supreme Leader has. Uh, so if, uh, for example, they approved a law and then the Supreme Leader is against that and then he can veto that so uh, that's all um, so um, but the president um, in terms of playing a role in international uh, situation he has power he can negotiate much better comparing to uh, like Ahmadinejad and I think the, in, the influence for uh, Mr. Rouhani will be on uh, international relation and economy more than as, others. As we've seen, um, he was very crucial uh, in terms of the nuclear uh, negotiations uh, two years ago. We will get to that in just a moment. Now, this election, though, is critical to the direction in which Iran moves. Now, basically, there is a power struggle between the conservatives and the moderates. We're not going to say reformists here. They are mainly moderates. Uh, President Rouhani, though, is, is fighting for a second term. Is he a popular leader? He is, yeah. He is especially among young generation and uh, among women. He is uh, re very popular, especially that he promised to women to bring more improvement in their status in Iran. And as he appointed uh, uh, vice president, Shain uh, Dr. and she did some improvement in law uh, for women. And especially uh, for young generation, he uh, allowed more freedom and um, he does not have uh, more restriction on uh, women and on young generation. However, and juridiction doesn't have much power, uh, but he, I can say that he's very popular now, especially for those people that want uh, Iran have more economic progress and more uh, international progress. So I think, yeah, he's, he's much more popular. How does he stack up against hardline uh, opponent Ibrahim Raisi, obviously who has the greater support amongst the conservatives and who are not very happy with the fact that Iran may be opening up to the global stage? Um, uh, yes, I think uh, he has to rely on the um, uh, votes from uh, Iranian people. And if the presence of Iranian people is too much in this election and as uh, they are counting the votes, uh, then that will make a big difference. And uh, I think the only th thing that he can rely on that is the participation of people uh, in Iran. If not, and if there are equal participation and then the um, election go to the second round with less than 50 percent, uh, then he will not have much more chance to win. But I'm hoping that, um, uh, as I can see in a social media and as uh, he promised a lot to young generation. I am hoping that he get the first run and he will win the first run and then uh, beat Mr. Raisi. Uh, yeah. Other, yeah, otherwise there would be a problem for him if he goes to the second round right. of election. It, now, as we were mentioning, it was President Rouhani who played a crucial role in the country's nuclear deal um, with international powers uh, two years ago. Now, while some in Iran welcomed it, uh, these are particularly the reformists and, and the moderates, the conservatives, however, saw that this was a step back for Iran. If Rouhani does not get re-elected, will Iran renege on the deal? 
Um, I think uh, now Iran sees uh, major difficulties with economy, and I think the supreme leader's opinion is to move on with negotiation with the best. Uh, but from the other side, the hard uh, the hardliners are very against that, and they put pressure on the government and also um, on other um, uh, area of the international relations. So. I think it depends on the opinion of the supreme leader. If he's happy with that and if he wants to negotiate with the West, then it wouldn't be much problem. But if he does not and if, uh, for example, United States does not uh, lift the sanction further, then they will uh, start fighting with the United States and West and they will not go further uh, with the uh, deal anymore. And as uh, Ayatollah Khamenei said that if Trump uh, tear up the negotiation, we will burn it. So that's a very crucial point. And I think um, if he cannot re-elect and if Raisi comes, the hardliner will get more power and their negotiation for nuclear program will be more harder and stricter. We know too that Iran is a major regional power in the Middle East. How do you see the outcome of the presidential poll impacting on, let's just say, the Syrian conflict or Iraq's stability? Uh, well, um, I can say that if Rouhanis get the power, uh, we can be more optimistic that uh, Iran will play more role in um, uh, uh, having peace in the region. Uh, whereas the hardliners, they are looking to have more fight, they are looking to help uh, Taifir groups in Syria, and they are uh, helping that they have some, um, uh, you know, have negotiation with Syrian army. So they are, um, if, if Rouhani can win, I think it will be uh, more stability in the region and we are not expecting to have clashes between West and Iran and especially uh, helping with uh, Syrian army. But uh, if the hard run has been, then the clashes between the, uh, that camp and uh, Israel and Syria will be more, uh, much more. So I think it, it, it's really playing crucial role in uh, you know, a stability if Rouhani wins. Otherwise, we can expect uh, more things happening on the other side, and it might be more clashes between the West and uh, uh, Iran, and especially uh, with the stability in the region. Azadeh Davici, thank you so much for speaking with us.